Yeah, it's one of those situations. I think the opening line showed that uh, Boston was a bit undervalued here considering how they're playing right now and how lackluster the Toronto Blue Jays have been all year long, especially offensively. I think uh, when you talk about underachieving offensive teams this year, uh, the Toronto Blue Jays have to be in the top five in that regard. Anyway, uh, Boston coming off that 7-3 to win at Toronto last night. They've now won five of their last six. They've scored seven runs or more in all five of those wins. They're hitting 316 as a team over their last seven games. So uh, exactly what Teddy just led me into. Uh, Tanner Huck gets a start tonight for the Red Sox. Uh, six road starts this year, a 189 ERA, a 082 whip, uh, averaging 6.3 innings pitch per start in those road outings. And he's uh, overall in his last five, he's been in tremendous form with a 191 ERA, 082 whip, over six innings pitch per start. And the Boston bullpen has performed very well over their last seven games uh, with a 249 staff ERA, four for four under save opportunities. So from a pitching standpoint and from a hitting standpoint, this sets up very well for the Red Sox. And, you know, you look at their home and away splits, Teddy, 18 and 20 at home, 20 and 15 on the road. So they played much better on the road than at the fen- uh, friendly confines of Fenway Park. As a matter of fact, not only 20 and 15 on the road, 13 and four on the road this year when they face teams like the Blue Jays that averaged 2.75 or less extra base hits per game. Uh, Toronto this year is only averaging 2.61 extra base hits per game. So another uh, very strong trend in that regard. Chris Bassett's pitched pretty well. I mean, a 412 ERA is respectable. But I look at his whip of 142, and, uh, and that, that's at home, by the way, 4-3 and three at home with a 412 ERA and a 142 whip. But if you look at his whip on a season, Teddy, it's right around the same in a 140 range. And when I see a guy just in the low fours for an ERA and a whip approaching 1.5, it tells me um, it's just a matter of time before that uh, whip, that high whip catches up to him. And the ERA could be a little bit deceiving. Uh, in Toronto bullpen, by the way, a 490 ERA at home this year. But here's what concerns me the most with the Toronto Blue Jay- Jays is they're, um, they're very prone to giving up the long ball at home. 24 home runs in 126.7 innings pitch for their bullpen. And this is a Toronto Blue Jays team when they're a small underdog of this variety between plus 100 to plus 150, they broke their backers this year going four and 18 in that role and getting outscored by 3.3 runs per game. Teddy, give me the Boston Red Sox here on the road, minus 120 over the Toronto Blue Jays. Let's talk about Chris Bassett for a minute because Bassett to me is a really interesting pitcher. All right, his April was not good. But you look at him from the beginning of May. You know, they, as April, he got lit up three or four times um, in early season starts. I think, yeah, four out of his first six starts weren't good. And his whip was through the roof and his ERA was through the roof. Since the beginning of May, the guy's made nine starts. He's given up 12 runs. The hits are down. The walks are down. He's been really good. His last five starts, he's given up a total of five runs. Um, Red Sox have a terrible track record against him. I think they've hit 170 yeah. against him in their uh, respective careers. So are you worried at all that Bassett may be a bet on hurler in this ballgame um, and put Boston um, behind the eight ball? Yeah, I mean, that was one thing I looked at, especially if you look at the two starts he made last year against the Red Sox. He completely shut them down. Um, you know, that was a, a – uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I know you said they're hitting 170 as a team against them in the current roster, but it was a much different lineup last year than this year. Having said all that, um, I, I when I look at how the Red Sox have been hitting of late, and I look at the his opposing starting pitcher in Tanner Huck and how great a form he's been in uh, on the road and over his last five starts, and I look at the Boston bullpen and how well they pitched. Um, And then I look at Toronto, and like I said earlier, you know, this is a team over their last seven games, they're hitting 232 as a team, 
not horrible, but not very good at all, and only averaging 3.4 runs per game. Um, and their bullpen's uh, proneness to giving up uh, as many home runs as they had have already at home uh, in regards to home runs versus innings pitched. I'm, I'm willing to overlook that a bit, Teddy, because uh, every situation has its own different meaning for me. And I just think the value here, uh, you, when you look at a team that opened at minus 105, playing as well as they are right now, uh, I'm going to go with Boston here. And uh, your point's well taken. It was considered, and it wasn't enough to sway me. Rare that I have back-to-back -back days with 5% top plays. Last night I had the Boston Celtics minus 6.5, and, a half, and uh, it's an easy winner. And I plan on having another easy winner tonight, even though the guys are telling me it's a jinx to be on a $2 Tuesday. But I'm going to break that trend. And, uh, you know, my uh, totals also in all sports up 6,290 units since June 30th of last year. My All my five-star top plays, Steve, are on a 19-8 and eight run right now, and that's good for 70%. So I'm very confident in this selection tonight. 5% top play total, Seattle, Cleveland, 645 Eastern Time, scheduled first pitch right now. Two bucks? Two dollars? Come on. Are you kidding me?